Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be doing a review on the IGN Icoma. This is a, a battle cruiser. This ship was first laid in 1905, I think. And it really didn't have a very long service life. Let's take a look at the ship first. So as you can see it has um, four 12 inch naval guns on it. And that's an ammo elevator so there's two turrets with four guns so two guns for each turret. And there's this three inch anti-aircraft gun two of them on each turret. And the secondary armaments are 6 inch naval guns and there's about 10 on each side. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's one there, 9, and 10 on each side. So there's uh, 26 inch guns. I think it has about four engines, no actually two engines, two smoke funnels, two transmissions, and let's see, two propellers, transitions tied to the, the propellers tied to the transmission, okay, the engine. Let's look at the armor. This definitely has more armor than a heavy cruiser. So, if someone launches a torpedo at you, you want to try to get the torpedo here, because this is where the most armor is. And you could take several torpedoes on each broadside. Where you don't want to get hit is near the edge where it's not armored. You see that, that part? Also, this, this part right here, this is not where you want to get hit by a torpedo. This thing has a lot of armor, but it has less armor than a Dreadnox. Like uh, the, the Hyuga right here, this is a Dreadnox, a battleship. This definitely is a very heavily armored warship. Probably the Queen of the Seas, probably during World War One. So this is a World War One type of ship, basically. By looking at it, it looks very antiquated. And there's not a lot of torpedoes on this ship. I think there's um, one torpedo launcher on each side and one in the rear, I think see that that's a torpedo tube there's another torpedo tube here one on each side not very well positioned and the torpedoes on this thing sucks it's not very good it has a range of only two kilometers which is not good at all ship has 11 torpedoes I got a lot of upgrades for this ship. I um, got the dry dock, tool set, fire protection, rubber replacement, propeller replacement, shrapnel protect, the shrapnel protection, ventilation, engine maintenance, and the top speed of my upgraded ship is about 47 kilometers an hour. At stock, maybe it's about um, 35 kilometers an hour, which is not very fast. So I'm going to do a test sail with this ship before I um, play some games with it.
This ship was um, laid in 1905 and it was basically um, scrapped and disbanded in 1915 due to the Washington Naval Treaty. So they couldn't have a ship of this uh, size. It's an arms control treaty. They had to scrap it as a result. So it never served in World War II. It did serve in World War I against against the Germans. I think it was in the Battle of when um, when the Japanese uh, laid siege to I think Sing Tao, I guess this ship was used. It blockaded German ports because in World War One, Japan was an ally of Great Britain, not Germany. Let me fire the 12 inch guns. Let's see how much damage this gun could do. And then you press Alt 2, switch to the 6 inch guns. You just keep firing this until the main guns reload, because the main guns take a long time to reload. Takes about 30 seconds per shot. That looks like a good hit. Let's switch back to the secondary guns. And then, and then switch back to the main guns. That's how I use this ship. And the torpedoes are basically useless. So I wouldn't use it at all. Hi, okay. That guy, that guy's dead. I don't like this new zoom feature in this game where you press the button, the fire button, and it zooms. It's quite annoying. You would never use that in real life.
with the six inch guns takes about 14 seconds to reload so after you get the second salvo just switch to your main gun like that See that there's a torpedo right there. It's quite has a quite pathetic range of only two kilometers, which is not good enough for anything. Just useless. And why would you put a rear torpedo anyways? That's just doesn't make any sense. So this ship was just rushed into the Well, it was rushed in the manner that it was uh, it was designed quickly and it was like laid constructed quickly so basically there were many design flaws with this ship there were problems with the hull and everything in other words it wasn't very well thought out it was just rushed As you can see, it's kind of like tilting right now, right? You can't shoot when the ship isn't leveled, you know. It's got to be leveled like that. If it's like tilted, your gun's just not going to be very accurate. Okay, let's go play a game now. Get out of here. No, I want to get out. I want to go back to the hangar, not get out of the ship. And another thing about the ship, there's no anti-aircraft guns on this ship that can do anything. So the three-inch anti-aircraft guns are pretty much useless. You really can't hit any aircraft with it. That's only anti-aircraft guns you have. Four, three-inch, fast-firing, breech-loading anti-aircraft guns at 15 rounds per second. So the six-inch guns have a pretty slow rate of fire. Like I said, 14 to 15. One round every 15 seconds. Which is not very good. Let's play a game with the Icoma. Okay, let's play a game with it. This is not the ideal environment for using this ship. So you want to use this ship in a map that has a lot of islands because you could take a uh, cover behind those islands to protect yourself against torpedoes but this is not the ideal environment actually the ship was taken out of service in 1923 due to the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922 but I made a mistake earlier I said I didn't state the date so I said it was uh, taken out of service in 1915 that's not true it's actually taken out of service in 1923 as a result of the Washington Naval Treaty or Arms Control Treaty of 1923 22 actually So you see the stability issue with the ship every time I try to turn it like tilts so that's one of the problems with the ship
even the turrets move pretty slow, slowly on this ship as well. That's got to hurt. Okay, now there's a cruiser. Hit. Still fourteen seconds left, switch. So just by the way the ship looks, it kind of looks like a ship from the, I guess the late 19th century. Just the way it looks, I mean. It looks kind of like an iron cladded. Battleship. When you play a ship like this, you just better be a good gunner. You're good with naval gunnery. That's the only thing that's going to matter. I don't know why they put the ship on here, because it wasn't really a world, it's not a World War II ship. Most of the armament on the ship are, I think, like British naval guns, like Vickers and stuff like that. That's a British company. That's not a Japanese company. So initially, the Japanese had a lot of ships. A lot of their ships were built in um, British shipyards initially, and they started building their own ships. I think the same with Imperial China. A lot of their ships were also built in uh, English shipyards. However, they did build their own ships as well. They did have cruisers and destroyers and stuff like that built by uh, Chinese naval yards. Even the Ottomans had a lot of their ships built in uh, 
British shipyards. As a result, they didn't get their uh, dreadnoughts for World War uh, II because uh, the Ottoman Empire joined the Central Powers. And as a result, they were on the opposite side of the British Empire, so they didn't uh, send the ships to the Ottoman Empire as a result. Because uh, the Ottomans were were allied to the central powers like with uh, Germany, Austro-Hungary, Austro-Hungarian Empire. Take out that guy. See where these shells are impacting. It's impacting negative twenty nine, so that would be here. This auto aim thing is not always correct. It takes about 20 seconds for it to adjust, so just rely on just rely on your instincts, or just look at the point of impact and just look at the horizontal uh, line and then try to align it. Now the ship's slowing down because I guess it, it's damaged. So I guess better aim more to the left. Okay, this heavy cruiser is pretty close. Now he's moving to the left. I just better adjust my aim. So basically this ship is a product of the industrial era. The ship is entirely made out of wood and steel. So I guess it's just so very solidly built.
and on this ship um, you're very vulnerable to aircraft and torpedoes you have no protection against aircraft you're sitting duck Ah, oh, see that just got destroyed by that aircraft There's no way to defend against it. So I got another Icoma. Okay, so I'm gonna. All gunners, hold your fire. I got some backups. So I'll just use this one. So the first ironclad ship was, I guess, used during the Civil War. So as you can see, I just... So this ship is not very stable. That's one thing I hate about it. The naval architects that designed this thing didn't do a very good job, obviously. Got hit. That that must have hurt. I'm gonna wait until all the guns reload. So I could just synchronize it. Switch back to the main naval gun. Shells are landing a little bit to the left, so aim more to the right. Some of the more skilled players adjust their speed so they can throw off your aim basically. So you've got to kind of like predict what they're going to do next. Like they're going to slow down or speed up. I lost one ship to an aircraft. So this ship comes, I mean, 
before before that before this before you get the ship you get the IGN Ioba this ship is okay it's basically like a Furutaka with just more anti-aircraft guns same amount of uh, naval guns but just more AA guns and plus it has a radar on it then you get the IJN Icoma. I really didn't like this ship very much. It's very, I guess it's very antiquated. It's not uh, suited for uh, World War II, you know, because it doesn't have any torpedoes on it. I mean, or the torpedoes on it are very useless. It's very limited range. Not very good. The only thing good about it are is its heavy armor and um, large guns. But you only have four 12-inch Victor's guns. See, as you as you can see, uh, the guns on it are Victor's. And that's British. Armstrong is also a British uh, naval gun. So I guess in the early days of the Japanese Empire, they did buy a lot of uh, ships from Great Britain. And um, they modeled their navy after Great Britain, basically. That's why. A lot of the designs kind of like reflect that in a way. So anyways, thanks for watching my Ace 1000KS.